In this short video, we're going to take a look at the new Miko wireless uh, camera, wireless security camera. This one is totally battery powered, rechargeable battery built in. Very simple to set up. Let's check it out. Got another little Miko Elraid wireless security camera here to check out. So let's open this one up. We'll look at the specs first. It's, it's totally battery powered rechargeable full high definition has motion detection 120 degree viewing angle records on a micro SD card and it also records audio and it's weatherproof here's our other parts of our specs here it's powered by built-in battery it's a uh, 21700 lithium batteries 10,000 milliamp hour capacity and it's rechargeable by 5 volt 1 amp power adapter. You're just going to use your cell phone charger as a power adapter like new phones is not included. Operates on the 2.4 gigahertz band only and it's IP65 waterproof rating. So I'm going to charge this thing up first. Here's the camera. Don't crush. That'd be the PIR. So those are typically a soft plastic. Comes with a mount, a charge cable, You can either put it on a permanent mount, like this, screw down the permanent mount, or you can put it on, I think this is a magnetic base that you can attach it to. Yes, it has a magnetic base. So you can hang it up, if you're using it indoors or outdoors, you can hang up the bracket, and then just put your camera on there, and that'll hold the camera in place. That way, when it's time to recharge, you just grab the camera and take it down and take it into recharge. Or you can mount it permanently, and then you'll have to unscrew it to take it down. Typically, you would use one of these mounts if you're mounting the camera inside your house, and you would use a bracket like this if you're mounting it outside, just so that someone just can't walk along and, and take it. It comes with a couple of uh, very high strength, very high bond double-sided tape too so if you want to stick it to something without drilling any holes you can use this to stick it to like a window for example that would be what that would be preferred to put it on is something glass again for use with the stick-on mount so first things first let's uh, get this thing charged up on the back pop off rubber cap that reveals the power button to turn it on, a micro USB to charge, and a slot to put your micro SD card. There is a push through on here as well. If you want to power the camera up, you can pop that out. If you're planning on powering it up with external power and keeping it powered up, put the plug through the back first. Plug in the micro USB. And then you can snap the weatherproof cover back on. I'll plug this into my adapter. my adapter turns on to start charging. I think that's the right port. Yep. USB 1. <clears throat> so it's charging at a half an amp, so the battery is not totally dead at this point. I can turn the camera on. I'm just going to take this, take this cover off for now for demonstration. Okay, so push the power button to wake it up. 
and then it tells me please to reset the device by holding the reset button for five seconds so we're going to wait for the indicator light to flash red so we're going to reset the device And now we just have to wait for the indicator light to flash red. Oh, the indicator light I'm looking for, I guess, is the one on the front. Oh, there it is. Light is flashing red right there above the lens. So. Select the Wi Fi network you want to sync with. Please choose a 2.4 G network, then enter your network password. Tap next to show your QR code, then hold the code in front of the camera lens at a distance of 5 to 8 inches. So I'm going to uh, tap the next button. It's going to put up, it's going to bring a QR code up on the screen and uh, we're going to set the camera up and point it at the at the phone. And that's it. It is now notification tone has been heard. Please wait a moment. Now I just have to wait for it to connect. Giving it a name. So now I've got the two devices. This camera, the light is now blue because it's paired. And my the back door camera, which is the actual um, doorbell camera. So if I tap on here, it will bring up. It will bring up. It will bring up. It will bring up. The picture. And it looks like there's a new version. Uh, of software, so I'm going to click update, and uh, we're going to we're going to update the software to 3.2.1.202.00708. It's a new version of software. So right now the firmware is updating on the camera, so we'll let that update. And while this is updating, I'm going to go grab an SD card, and we're going to install an SD card into the unit, and uh, that way it can uh, record onto the camera. Software update is done. If I select the camera itself, I kill the sound on this thing. Okay, so now I can view the camera live. If I want to turn on the sound, I just tap the screen and uncheck the speaker. Check the speaker. Check. So if, I, if I tap intercom, now I can talk to the person back on the camera. Mute the sound. If I tap this intercom button, it should send my voice over the camera. So now I should be, yeah, there you go. See, now I can talk to the person on the camera. So that's, that's it for live uh, viewing. If I want to put an SD card in, I'll just pop an SD card into the back here. Goes in here one of these directions, like that, with the contacts facing up. SD card is in. I can put the the rubber cap on the back. I'm not going to put this outside anyway. I'm going to be testing this one in the house. But there's the camera all set. We'll let this thing do a, a little bit of recording and um, then we'll check it out for, for playback. We'll see how to play the files back on the uh, phone. Okay, I've had the camera set up now in the house for a bit. I had it set up in the shop here for a while and then I put it in the house, got it in my living room, There's nobody in there now. So it's totally dark in there other than the clock that's over in the corner here which has got some lights on so the only light in this room right now is is coming from the camera itself. It's on infrared mode. Other than, as I say, there's a couple of, uh, there's a light bulb in the bottom of this monstrosity of a clock that sits over in the corner. Um, 
and check this out. We'll, we'll see what uh, some of the recordings are like. If I go into history, bring up the recording when I went in and wound up the clock. So as I walked into the room, it started recording automatically. And if I turn on the sound, where's the sound on here? The sound should be on now. Then I left. And it'll record for another 40 seconds or so and then stop. That's uh, how it works. And if you've got multiple recordings, they all show up on the timeline. And you can you can see them here. See the, the little uh, red mark here. If I zoom in, here are the recordings. So all I have to do is move the timeline over to that one, and that'll be the start of that file. And that's, it, there's no lights on. It's totally dark in this room. The only lights that are on are actually in the base of that clock. If I go to the other camera, which is the uh, the one at the, the back door, it'll show all the motion detection at uh, this camera. Like when I was uh, out uh, cooking my dinner tonight on the barbecue. This is the... Uh, this is the... Um, cleaning the barbecue off. So that's uh, that's the that's the doorbell camera. And you can see that all the recordings that are on here when anybody went outside or anybody walked up to the door. All these other uh, recordings. So that's that's how the recording that's how it works for, for playback. All the motion detection clips are there. Anytime it detects motion, it records. So I just went into recording management. Uh, we can select 20 seconds, 40 seconds, or one minute. So whenever it receives, whenever uh, the camera is triggered, it can record for 20 seconds, 40 seconds, or a minute. So I'll say set it for 40 seconds. And then I'm going to go into, um, uh, where are we here? Record management. Uh, motion detection on record management. Yeah, they already, they already did that. Formatted the card, basic functions, power management, remaining battery at 79% because I only charged it up for an hour or so. Um, motion detection is set on it. When I select a recording, for example, if I select this recording, if I tap record, down here, it'll actually record that clip onto my phone. So now I've made a, a recording, a copy of it, so I don't even have to go to the camera and retrieve the SD card. I can copy it onto my phone immediately. For, you know, so if you've captured something, you can make a copy of it onto your phone without having to retrieve the camera. stop it if I now go to album the recording that I put on my phone is there and to delete that one I just go back to uh, here I, I click it and then I want to delete it and I can delete it so now that will remove that clip from my phone that's how simple the the app is to operate anyway uh, link to this is going to be in the description uh, looks to be a nice little camera. I'm going to test it here for a while, like the like the other one, uh, the other Miko uh, camera that's the doorbell camera that I put at my back door. I'm going to be testing this one in the house, just sitting in my living room, sitting on top of my TV. I'll uh, leave it there and see how long the battery lasts on this one, and uh, we'll put that in the comments once I figure out how long it goes for. Anyway, thanks for watching. Link is in the description. Bye for now.